I love poetry, but I'm very aware that a poem written in another language loses an enormous amount in translation. The language of poetry is so carefully chosen that every word, its nuances, its sound, its rhythm, is all so very deliberately and carefully selected. And when you put those words into a different language, inevitably, some of those nuances, the rhythm, the sound of the word is, of course, lost. However, that should not stop us reading poetry that has been written in another language. And I'd like to share with you one of my great favourites, a poem by the French poet Jacques Prévert, one of the finest French poets of the 20th century. This poem is called Déjeuner du matin. I will give it to you in French, and my French is far from perfect, so please excuse it, and also in its English version as breakfast. Here it is in French. Déjeuner du matin by Jacques Prévert. Il a mis le café dans la tasse. Il a mis le lait dans la tasse de café. Il a mis le sucre dans le café au lait. Avec la petite cuillère, il a tourné. Il a bu le café au lait. Et il a reposé la tasse sans me parler. Il a allumé une cigarette. Il a fait des ronds avec la fumée. Il a mis les cendres dans le cendrier. Sans me parler. Sans me regarder. Il s'est levé. Il a mis son chapeau sur sa tête. Il a mis son manteau de pluie parce qu'il pleuvait. Et il est parti sous la pluie sans une parole, sans me regarder. Et moi, j'ai pris ma tête dans ma main et j'ai pleuré. And here is the poem in English as breakfast. He poured the coffee into the cup. He put the milk into the cup of coffee. He put the sugar into the coffee with milk. With a small spoon, he churned. He drank the coffee and he put down the cup without any word to me. He lit a cigarette. He made circles with the smoke. He shook off the ash into the ashtray without any word to me without any look at me. He got up. He put on his hat on his head. He put on his raincoat because it was raining. And he left into the rain without any word to me, without any look at me. And I buried my face in my hands and I wept. The poem was written in the year 1946, very soon after the ending of World War II. The French were feeling disillusioned and traumatised by the war. Their country had been invaded and controlled by the Nazis. This poem, I think, reflects national disenchantment as we get this little scene over a breakfast table between a man and a woman, possibly husband and wife, we are not told. We don't know why there seems to be this terrible estrangement between the two. Has he been involved in the war? Is he suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder? Or has this couple simply reached the end of the road as far as their relationship is concerned? We're not told. We do not know. And I think that adds a great deal of mystery and also power to the poem. Jacques Prévert has written the poem in very clipped, terse sentences. And the tense used is the passé composé, a tense that indicates a clear beginning and end. The woman watches the man going through the mechanical motions of adding milk and sugar to his coffee, stirring the sugar into the cup, and then drinking the coffee. He puts his hat on his head, he puts on his raincoat and he walks out into a grey, wet world. She sits and weeps. We don't know what is going to happen to this couple. 
But I think that Prévert has managed to paint a very powerful and a very memorable scene in remarkably few words. The lines of the poem are packed with anxiety, with uneasiness, and with great unhappiness. Jacques Prévert lived from the year 1900 to 1977. He was not only a poet, he was also a screenwriter. One of his films was the famous Les Enfants du Paradis. He was the most popular French poet of the 20th century, and his poems were often studied by schoolchildren in French schools. Many have been translated into other languages. Many of his poems have been set to music. He often attacked the rigid French Catholic education system of his day, and he was very against authority and the Catholic Church. I think that he mastered the art of a small, memorable, poetic sketch in this particular work. It's a poem that I think in many ways catches the reader off guard. For me, it's a truly wonderful poem, and I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed listening to this poem, I do have many more on my YouTube channel, and I hope that I can share with you my very deep love of poetry in English and in other languages. Do consider subscribing to my channel. There are lots more fabulous poems to come.